Good morning, everyone. Today I am headed to Charlotte, North Carolina. And today I'm at Hendrick BMW in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes, the land of every single one of Saab Kyle 04's car reviews. But I'm not gonna be doing car reviews there. I am going for the NASCAR race. That's right, this is the fourth race in the 10 race postseason series. But the crazy part is, it's pouring rain there right now. So, NASCAR's rain, they don't really go together. So, it's gonna be interesting. I'm about to hop on my flight. But before we get started, Vehicle Virgin's merchandise is for sale. This is one of my favorite shirts, actually. I love the way this logo looks. And we got a little detail on the back, so click the link in the description below to get yourself some epic Vehicle Virgin's merchandise. Sitting in the Uber, I wanted to say thank you guys for the awesome suggestions on the Uber reaction video. So far, we've got using Salamandrin's 4x4 squared, the McLaren 720S, doing it again in the Lamborghini. Keep leaving comments in the comment section below on what you think the next Uber reaction video should be. Pulling up right now. So I just found this video on YouTube of an E63 AMG S launching. Look how cool the tachometer looks during the launch. I'll be honest, I just rode in this new Honda Accord Uber and it was actually pretty nice inside. The one time I forget to put TSA pre-check on my freaking ticket, there's the smallest line ever. That's lucky. About to board the plane, I'll be honest, I hate flying. Just showed up to the hotel. This place looks like freaking Harry Potter or something. Look how... Yikes, Christine, I wanna give you a special shout out on Uber. This isn't gonna do anything, cause I don't know if you see this or not, but she absolutely killed it with the Uber. She told me all about North Carolina. I'm actually kinda sad that it's raining, but let's take a look at the hotel room. Nice little common area. The most important thing of the entire hotel room. I think all the Embassy Suites hotel rooms come with NASCARs. Probably not, thanks Pennzoil, that's pretty dope actually. I've got two beds for really no reason other than, wait a minute, oh, transfer. Parkour. I am 12 years old. All right, well, I'm gonna go to bed because it is freaking late. It's like 12, it is freaking late. It's like 12. After having a serious delay on my second flight, I had a transferred flight. I was worried about not making it because there was only 35 minutes in between the flights. Then that one got delayed by like an hour and a half. Now it's past midnight and I gotta wake up super, super early. Although I've gotta post a video now on likegravity.com so that the pro members can see videos 24 hours in advance before they go on YouTube. Now, I wanna remind you guys, there's only eight days left. That's right, October 15th, I am giving away that BMW M3. It's a perk for being a pro member. So pro members, they get access to videos 24 hours in advance. I'm basically responding to almost every single person's comment because there's nowhere near as many of them as there are YouTube subscribers. It's a great way to personally interact with you guys. Seriously, I enjoy it so, so much. You also get other perks like free wallpaper downloads. It also is a social network like Facebook, except for cars, so you don't annoy the hell out of your friends by posting everything about cars and they go, dude, is that all you like? And the answer is yes, that is all I like. Just kidding, but maybe not. Anyways, I'm giving the car away to a random pro member on October 15th. It's a sick E46 BMW M3. If you're new to the channel from right now, here's a picture of the M3. It's gorgeous, 60,000 miles mint condition, there's a link in the description below to sign up for a pro membership. If you purchase a year membership, you get 12 entries or 12 chances to win the random giveaway. And if you don't win this car, there's gonna be more random giveaways. There's gonna be more cars. There's gonna be watches, random stuff that you guys will absolutely enjoy. All right, I think I'm gonna go to bed now and uh, yeah, I'm tired. Let's go to NASCAR tomorrow. Six and a half hours later. Good morning, I just checked the weather and it's not supposed to rain until 1.30 to 2 p.m. So hopefully we'll get to see some awesome NASCAR races today. Let's go downstairs, Smurf and WRX is there. Look at Mike, he's so professional over here. Being interviewed and stuff. What's up guys? <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. Like, as much as I want camera, it's always weird. I know, you like to be behind. Yeah, this is a big, you don't like the big camera. camera. Oh my god, this is this is the fanciest thing I've ever received. <laughs> Has it got a hologram on it? This is the second NASCAR event I've ever been to, and the first NASCAR event, it was pouring rain, so. <laughs> 1-800 toilets. I, I need some footage of a septic <laughs> truck pulling up the NASCAR. Are you excited, Mike? Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, wow. The Asian man. Just showed up to the event. The funny thing is, they delayed the event an hour because of rain, but the unfortunate part is, 
that it pushes it straight into when there's actually going to be rain. They're starting out. They're like starting important. out. What did you say? I'm learning new words like important. 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 Did I just say that? But the unfortunate part is. But yeah, so the race starts at one, and so does the rain. It's gonna be interesting. I was jealous of his earplugs, and then I realized I have them too. They're built into my freaking pass. That's awesome. Door. Look at that. I think I'm wearing it right. I'm super pumped. So we've got garage access, which means we can go hang out with the cars and the drivers up until an hour before the race. Apparently you can't even buy this. It's just all based on which manufacturers are deciding to take people. This bridge that I'm cautiously walking under is a perfect example of an engineering fail. Apparently this old bridge, when a ton of people walked over it, it created the exact resonant frequency of the bridge it started oscillating and then the entire thing fell apart tragically causing some death so those people clearly didn't uh, pay any attention in school there's a strange dude following me with a camera the grandstands of this place are wild this is way cooler than michigan international speedway that i went to check this out oh my god it's just like talladega nights oh yeah rick bobby we're in the infield of the track all the cars are fired up it is loud but when they actually get up to speed i've heard fast by it cars for the race. I just learned more about NASCAR in the last five minutes than I have in my entire life and I'm actually pretty blown away. So one, they're only allowed one master toolkit. That's right, one toolkit to work on the car. The entire shop area is open and it's self-policing. So you'd imagine if somebody does something a little bit illegal, the other team is gonna call them out on it. Also, I had no idea how much money is still in NASCAR. For example, the 35th finishing driver made $4.5 million. <laughs> That's unfreaking believable. They also are set up in this open area and have the trailer right there because sometimes they go straight after, like 45 minutes after the race to the next race. And they do that 14, 15 times in a row. And also, I'd like to change what I said before. It's not 500 laps, it's 500 miles. But in order for it to officially count as a race, it just has to be one lap more than half the amount required. This will be the body, mainly the top aerodynamics. Car, you saw this at Penske's shop. He had, he had them in that first bay where they, were, they had all the laser pointers to measure the body. So if you're wondering why all the NASCARs look the same, the hood and the roof of every car has to fit this exact profile. So if the car isn't within a 1 16th tolerance of this, they make you take the car off fix it, and then get back in line. It's insane how police this is, because just the slightest change in the A pillars, the B pillars, the C pillars, and the shape of the car can change the aerodynamics. You can add a bunch of more downforce. They'll do all 40 They really are pretty equalized. So here's different attachments. This one's for Toyota, Chevy, and Ford, but pretty much the overall profile. Identical. This is me out there on the field during the NASCAR race. These generators that you're hearing are actually preheating the oil in the car. That's allowed. That's awesome. The noses and the tails of the cars are also provided by only one vendor, so those are all the same as well. And then we have more standardizing with this machine. The biggest differences between the cars comes down to suspension work. There's a lot of flexibility in terms of the design of the suspension, obviously incredibly important for cornering, and also the sides of the car. You're allowed to develop the aerodynamics of the sides of the car, and we're about to go look at one because one side is completely flat and the other is not. Look how rounded and sculpted the left side of the car is. Now check out the right side of the car. Completely flat. <laughs> it's wide body one side. So get ready for the first ever comparison between a NASCAR and a Pagani Huayra. So the rear diffuser causes a ton of downforce. But what happens if the car spins out? The downforce is going to become lift and the car is going to lift off the ground. And that's of course very, very dangerous. On the top of this NASCAR, there are flaps on the roof that deploy if the car spins around to keep it on the ground. Right there. There's where he lost the front downforce, moved up towards him, and then had to yank the steering wheel to get it off the tide, and around he went. Doesn't look like a lot of damage to the 51. Just like Pagani Waira does with its flaps. 
Arazio has designed a system of four independently operating aerodynamic flaps. Also, you gotta love the side-facing spoiler. In the next video, we're gonna have a tour of the shop. We're also gonna have the race. There's gonna be more of Mike. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video. <laughs>